if f of x equals 3x plus 12 over 2x minus 12, what value does f of x approach as x gets infinitely larger? This is a question that's basically a horizontal asymptotes question. What is the horizontal asymptote of this function? Or you can think about it as what is the end behavior of this function? As, gets, as x gets bigger and bigger, what does the function do? Does it go to infinity? Well, we can see in the choices it's not. It's going to go in to some value here. It's going to go out to a horizontal asymptote to negative 6 or negative 1 or something, and we need to figure that out. One way to handle this is just start plugging in bigger and bigger x's, right? Plug in x equals 99999 and see what you get. And that might help. So let's try that. So 3 times we'll do 5. We'll do 6 9's plus 12. And now we're going to divide this by 2. Well, let's make sure we put a parenthesis here. 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minus 12. And let's see, what the, oh my gosh. And let's see what we get. 1.50001. So we can see as this number is going to get bigger, we can, if we wanted to test with seven nines or whatever, doesn't matter. We see it's approaching 1.5. In other words, three halves. So that's choice E. So that's the brute force way. It's kind of like take the limit as X goes to infinity, if you're familiar with limits. But there's a more direct way, which when we have these rational functions, so f of x equals 3x plus 12 over 2x minus 12, the key is to, number one, find on the top and the bottom of the fraction the term that has the highest exponent. So in this case, in the top, of course, it's going to be 3x to the 1. And on the bottom, it's going to be 2x to the 1. So they have the same. When they have the same, you just compare the coefficients. And the ratio of the coefficients, in this case, 3 to 2, or 3 halves, tells you what the uh, horizontal asymptote is. So again, we get E. Just to review, if you forget the other rules of this, let's say we had x cubed plus da 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 da, and the bottom, the highest term, was x squared plus da 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 da. If the term on top has a higher exponent than the term on bottom, again, these are the highest exponents on the top and the bottom themselves, but then you compare them, if the top is higher than the bottom, then there is no horizontal asymptote. In other words, it goes to infinity. So the function will just you know, shoot off to higher and higher y values. If you have the opposite case, if you have x, let's say, squared plus da 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 da, da over x cubed plus da 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 da, in this case, you're going to have a horizontal asymptote, and the horizontal asymptote is going to be uh, y equals 0. So the function may look something like, I don't know, I'm just making this up, like this. So notice as the function gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the function flattens out in both ends and you get uh, it approaching y equals zero but never quite touching it. In other words, a horizontal asymptote. So those are the three rules. If they're equal, look for the ratio. If the top is bigger than the bottom, it goes to infinity, there's no horizontal asymptote. And if the bottom is bigger than the top, your horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero.